Atkins Diacritics The Physicians' Committee for Responsible Medicine, PCRM, has been very vocal about their stand against high-protein and low-carbohydrate scheme because of the danger it brings. Founded in 1985, they have been one of the many Atkins Diacritics. According to them, it raises cholesterol levels in a significant number of persons and even at times, to a dramatic degree. It also accelerates loss of calcium and have ushered major health organizations to raise queries about the possible aftermath of having heart problems, kidney abnormalities, bone osteoporosis, and others. They take this very seriously where they also provide legal assistance to those who would want to file lawsuits. The Physicians' Committee for Responsible Medicine encourages people to be cautious in following dietary strategies and choose other healthier options. PCRM has gathered three individuals who individuals who tried the said nutrition program but came out experiencing health-related dilemmas. Mari Madlam of Claremont, California A 51-year-old hairstylist, Madlam began the high-protein and low-carbohydrate diet in 1998. She applied it for about half a year where before she started, her cholesterol level was only 160 but it surged up to 258 when she was already following the said scheme. She is one of the Atkins diet critics that had her gallbladder removed. Madlam just brushed off the claims that it might have to do with the program but when she logged onto the internet, she found out that having stones in the kidney is a common occurrence because of calcium loss. She added that she did not have any history of those nor her family. Jody Gorin of Delray Beach, Florida A businessman who used to have a healthy heart before following the high-protein and low-carbohydrate diet, Gorin then experienced having angina after two years. His cholesterol level had shot from 146 to 230. The examination he had showed that there was a severe artery blockage. He is one of the Atkins diacritics that underwent angioplasty. Gorin's cardiologist even told him that he could have died when it was treated immediately. He is owner and chairman of the board of Aquatem Industries, a company based in New Jersey who is the largest manufacturer of solar swimming pool heaters. Rachel Husky of Sturgeon, Missouri A 16-year-old high school student who suddenly collapsed in class, Husky is one of the Atkins diacritics who died in August of 2000. She was not known to have any medical complications. According to closed sources, she knew about the high-protein and low-carbohydrate diet in videotapes purchased from a television advertisement. Upon autopsy, Husky was found to have low potassium levels in her blood. Dr. Paul Robinson from the University of Missouri said that those depletions damaged her normal cardiac functions that caused her heart to stop beating. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.